Hi there, Claire Winslow here, showing you uh, a printing session with the gel plate, making some holiday cards. And I'm using some golden liquid paints and regular acrylics and some scraps of printmaking paper that I happen to have in my studio. So I've got my 8x10 plate and I've kind of marked off roughly where the paper is going to be. And now I'm applying some liquid paints to the plate. And these were not drying very fast, but if you, you find your paints dry, you can always um, add a couple drops of acrylic medium or retarder. So I folded my greeting card paper in advance of printing. In hindsight, I'm not sure I would recommend that. It might be easier just to cut a rectangle um, and then print and then fold it into your card later. But anyway, that's the way I did it today. And I'm using some masks of trees here and just basically focused on building up layers, which you can do with these nice golden translucent paints. So each time I do a layer, I don't really expect it to be kind of a super sharp image. I just know that I'm going to keep adding and adding. So you can do it for quite a while. As you can see, it's a little rough in the beginning. And I believe the texture of the previous images on the plate. And I did not clean the plate in between each pass. So that's up to you whether you like to clean it or not. I just decided I was going to let things happen spontaneously. Oops, wrong direction. That's okay, we'll fix that later. Uh, these tree shapes are nice. It's good to have a variety of sizes if you're going to repeat the same image. And so we're starting to get something interesting here with different layers and colors. I had a limited number of colors, so I just kept using the same ones. And as usual, it's trial and error, so some cards are maybe not work maybe won't work out exactly like this one, I'm not sure, but hopefully you'll get some that you really like and you can use them for holiday cards for friends or family or uh, greetings for anyone. One of my favorite golden paints is the metallics, the gold and the silver, so I'm trying adding some gold. And the gold often makes a nice sheen on top of other colors, not necessarily by itself. And so here I'm still layering, but now I'm going to apply, I'm applying paint directly to the mask to transfer it to the plate. And as you can see, sometimes it doesn't work right away. If you have the golden paints and you've added a drop of retarder, which I just did there, then it'll slow things down and you can keep trying to add that color to the plate. And there we go. And now we want to add it to our card. Except it looks like I'm still in the not right direction. Am I? Yeah, I guess I am. Uh, so I keep doing that. You know, you, just because you print it once doesn't mean you have to stop. You can use a brayer to um, uh, apply the ink too. The tricky part is staying, keeping clean and avoiding messiness on your card. So as you can see, I'm just adding one layer after the next and sometimes I like to add white as a way to kind of smooth everything out a little bit. Trying to decide what to do next. Okay so now I'm using the stencil part of these shapes. Before I was using a mask of the trees and now if you're using the opening in the stencil then that's really stenciling. So we're again going back to adding some gold. The gold and the green are a nice combination, of course. And I'm just continuing with that here to see what will work. Well, I got a little smudge on the left. I might be able to wipe that out a little bit or soften it. It's a nice stencil because it's pretty sharp and detailed. It's made out of Yupo. That's nice. Might need a little bit more on the background. 
And sometimes I like to just do a thin sheen of gold on top of everything. There, now you have some texture. I'll show the cards at the end too. One more layer of gold. Okay, I decided after they dried, it did take a few minutes to dry because you're building up so many layers, that it needed a little bit of sharpness um, because this is kind of a grunge texture, which is cool, but sometimes you sort of lose the image. So I like to go back in with colored pencils, uh, any kind will do, um, and then just add some sharp areas or a few dark areas just to bring out something, a little bit more contrast. And I don't like to overdo this part because there's something nice about that rough texture that the gel plate gives you, but it's kind of um, finding the happy medium, you know, leaving some of the gel plate texture, but also making some areas a little bit more solid and smooth. And here maybe the smoothing out the dark tree a little bit so there's not so many white blotchy areas. And I guess I decided to do a little shadowing there. But this is a really fun and relaxing process. I think that's just a regular um, black pencil. I'm just using it really light. Probably a Caran d'Ache or Stadler brand. Again, I kind of want to leave the texture. So I hope you try that and have fun.